Our last four word problems. A group of friends are at a baseball game and, and are purchasing souvenirs. Kirk purchased three shirts and four caps, spending a total of $159. Now, we should see right of the way that he spent, uh, sorry, that he bought three shirts, but we have no clue how much they cost. And he bought four caps, but we have no, how much, no clue how much they cost. I'm going to assume that they cost something different. So now I know that X is e going to equal the cost for the shirts. And Y is going to equal the cost for the caps. Those are my two missing variables from the very first equation. Adding those together, we spent $159. Well, that brings us then to our second statement. His friend Wayne purchased three t-shirts. Again, we don't know how much, but we're going to go ahead and assume for the same cost of a t-shirt. And he bought three caps, but this friend spent $135. Now, since we have multiple ways of solving systems of equations, I'm going to go ahead and let you solve the system of equations your own way. But I do want to take just a moment to talk about the solution, which means I should see a reasonable amount of work on your study guide that matches this particular solution. The cost for the shirt is $21. The cost for the cap is $24. Justify the solution with your work. The length of a rectangle is equal to 3 times the width. So my variables, I'm going to have one variable which is the length and one variable which is the width And the length of the rectangle is equal to 3 times the width. The de we need to find the dimensions of the rectangle if the perimeter is 86 centimeters. Now remember about perimeter. If I draw the shape. I have length and width, but I have two widths that have the same value. I have two lengths that have the same value. So 2x plus 2y is equal to the total perimeter of 86. Again, that should give me more than enough information to solve the system of equations. We end up with the values x of 32.25 and y of 10.75 centimeters on both. Problem number 26. Miss Cochran had 15 coins in nickels and quarters. We're talking 15 coins in total, not 15 nickels and 15 coins quarters. He had three more quarters than nickels. So I know right off the bat that he had 15 total nickels and quarters. So we'll go ahead and say x is equal to nickels and y is equal to quarters. If I add the value of nickels and the value of, or sorry, the quantity of nickels and the quantity of quarters, we determine that I have 15 total coins. We also know then he had three more quarters than he had nickels. So we're going to end up with our y being equal to our number of quarters is three more than the nickels. 
Now again, I'm going to let you solve the system of equations. You should determine that the x value, which are nickels, he ends up with 6 of. The y value, which are quarters, he ends up with 9 of. But we need to be really careful to answer the question. Write a system of equations to represent this information. Then determine how much money Ms. Cochran is currently carrying. Right now, we've only determined a quantity of nickels and a quantity of quarters. We haven't determined a value based on the quantity of nickels. So we're certainly going to want to multiply our 6 times the known value of a nickel, which is uh, 5 cents. And if I have 6 nickels at 5 cents apiece, then I have 30 cents. Well, if I have nine quarters at 25 cents a piece, then I have $2.25. And so all together, Ms. Cochran is carrying around $2.55. Number 27, a large pizza at Margo's costs $6 plus $5.50 for each topping. By this point in the problem, we should start to realize that you know what? I'm going to have multiple toppings. X is going to be equal to quantity of toppings. Now the quantity of toppings, uh, toppings that I put on impacts the cost that I pay. So my toppings is my independent variable. The cost is dependent on the number of toppings. And now we set up an equation. $6 plus 50 cents for each topping is going to give me a total cost. Papa John's, however, sells for $6.50. Plus, they only charge me 40 cents for each topping, and that will equal their total cost. So again, you're going to solve by your favorite method. I would suggest substitution for this particular method because we can set the two equations equal to each other, isolate the variable. You should eventually determine that the number of toppings in which their pizza price is the same is five. And that would make the total cost, what is that, 5 times 50 cents is 250 plus $6 is going to be $8.50 is the point at which they will be able to sell their pizzas for the same price with 5 toppings. Once you add the sixth topping, one pizza company becomes more expensive. Below five toppings, the other company is more expensive.